Hi, another Toro here, and this was a request uh, by someone who wanted uh, help on making a shell casing. So what you asked, or what they asked, was how to engrave numbers, serial numbers, into the casing, and how to add two different textures. And I'm also going to cover how to add two different materials as well. So let's get started. I'm going to use the cube just to make it simpler. Get a new blender window and first let's whatever your initial texture is going to be is going to be the under the whole the color that's it all, it's all based into such as mine was that rainbow one so that's going to be the initial texture everything else is, ju is just going to be on top of it so let's add a move to your UV in window and let's open a new image so every, wherever you saved your texture to, that's what you want to open. There we go. And the way we're going to add two UV textures is by going under Object Data, under UV Texture. Currently, we don't have anything here because we haven't unwrapped this yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Tab. And we're going to make some seams. So I'm just going to change to your uh, edge mode. And depending on your model is where you want to mark the seams and under your object tools just scroll down until you see mark seam and then hit A to select all hit U and unwrap now you see we have a texture here since we unwrapped it let's name this COL for color now if I were to render this right now we don't have anything because a key thing people forget about textures is you have to add a material and then add this same texture in your texture panel and not just in the UV panel so let's click on this little uh, picture here since we already opened it in blender and now if we were to render this it's we just have the rainbow color on this one top um, square so to change that all you have to do is over here just rotate and grab your image and make it uh, encompass whatever colors you want it to but if we were to render it it will still look the same because under mapping you have to click on UV mapping and the layer click COL since we're gonna add another layer later Hit F12 and now you can see the rainbow colors just all over the cube so for now let's tab out and I'm gonna add another light source There we go, now we can, we can see the whole cube. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the engraving. So first you want a black and white image. And so I'm just going to make one real quick in GIMP. So open a new image. And we are going to add some text. So click on this A right here. Uh, click on the corner and go all the way down. And I'm just going to write some numbers just like that and close. Alright, so it has to be black on white. Well, it can be white on black, but that'll mess you up a little bit. So just hear me out. File, save as serial numbers.jpg. Make sure it's a JPEG or PNG, whatever your preference is. Just hit export and save. You can also do this with Photoshop out of that and now let's add a new texture to our cube so right click on the cube underneath this texture new image or movie now since I'm just gonna affect the normals it doesn't need to be a new UV layer but just to show you how UV layers work I'm just gonna use it like that but if it's just gonna be with the normals you don't need a new UV layer all right, so wherever you saved your texture to, there we go. Coordinates, it's going to be UV. And now we have to add a new layer since I'm going to UV map it. But if it was, since this are, since these are serial numbers and I want to place them in a, exactly a place where I want them, 
I have to unwrap it. That's why I need a new layer. But if it was just like a dirt texture or a wall texture, you wouldn't need to unwrap it necessarily, depending on what your model is. So just so that you understand when you do and when you don't need to do it. All right, so now we need to go to our object data, add a new layer, and just rename that to serial numbers. Let's click on this camera here so that we can edit this layer tab and let's hit A to get all of them and clear the, clear the seam. Now I'm going to add, let's see, I want to make the texture to be on this panel right here so I'm just going to shift right click and mark that seam, hit A, U, and unwrap. Now I'm just going to change this to serial numbers. There we go. All right right click on this is the rest of the cube but I don't want that so I'm just gonna control L grab that whole thing and move it out of the way now depending on how big you make the square is how big your uh, serial numbers are gonna be and where they're gonna be located so uh, I'll just leave it like that for now alright so now that we have that where we want it under the texture let's click our serial number layer and there's two things we're going to change but I'm just going to render this right now so you can see it F12 and now we have this is right where we want it but now it covered the rainbow of the square and we have something over here that we don't want so let's first hit that it's covering the whole thing because we set it to because we set it to color down here the color is check marked took away the power from basically it took away the power from the texture so to change that just unclick this and click normal F12 there we have it now this is just affecting the normals and this texture up here is going to affect the color and here's one way to do it you can either have the engraving sticking out or if you want to have it engraved in just change the normal to negative one and that'll reverse the normals just like that alright so now let's get rid of this artifact right down here just click uh, under image mapping it, the extension is on repeat we want it to clip that so that it's only where we tell it to be and there you go there's your engraving and uh, that's basically it but I'm just going to show you how to add a, say, two, two kinds of materials to one object which is very helpful so now let's add a new, under the material panel, add a new material. Make sure that there's no numbers right here. Because if there was a number, then it will just copy the same material up here. Uh, let's change the diffuse color. And... Now that we change the diffuse color, let's see... Let's tab into here, and I'm just going to have the material effect to this top layer. So shift right click, and you see this button that says assign. Now just whatever is inside the vertices that I clicked is going to be assigned to the new material. So if I were to F12 and render that, now you can see the top panel of the box is yellow, and the rest of it is the same material that I UV textured. So that's basically it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, uh, any questions, just comment below or you can send me a private message. Thanks.